The age-old trick to get a professional drum sound is to replace the attack of a drum and keep the original sustain. The JMG Nanopulse does that and adds complete multiband transient and sustain processing plus sound control on top of that. We'll go over the good and the bad of this plugin. This is how Nanopulse sounds. Here's this kick and I'll use the default setting with the sample with the name Alpha Strike. That alone brings out the kick a bit in this recording. Turning down the original transient and bringing up the enhanced transient. I'll adjust resonance to see if that improves this sound. It doesn't. Let's bring out some low ends by increasing sustain and changing the crossover band. Here's the kick in the recording. I will adjust the resonance again to see if it improves the sound. Same with tone. I'll bypass to see how big the change is. And I already did the same with snare. Now let's bypass both kick and snare enhancements in the mix. That already makes a big positive difference and from here you can add your normal processing which will be easier because the basic sound already sounds better. The big plus of this plugin is the huge amount of transient sounds within this plugin. You can see here in Plugin Doctor how different the various transients are. Lots of different frequency curves. What I don't like is the fact that these presets aren't sorted. I wrote down a few favorite ones for this video and I had to really look where they were in the list. What's good as well is the seamless blend between the attack and sustain parts of both samples and original audio. The three bands of the multiband work smooth and quick and opens up this plugin to be used on other sources than just drums. I do miss a sensitivity dial on this plugin. The plugin follows the original transient, but any form of control to have them more constant will be a huge asset for this to get a more pro sound and keep a dynamic sustain. You can solve this partially by adding a limiter or clipper before the nano pulse. Excellent on the plugin is the sound control. With pitch you can quickly find the right frequency range. With tone you can add warmth or make it sharper. And the resonance will create more of a peak which all helps to blend or distinguish the transients.
I couldn't spot any sign of aliasing and the plugin is very CPU light. I would also love to see a threshold dial on this plugin. Right now the plugin triggers on any transient. And with a threshold setting you would be able to only enhance the louder transients, for instance on a bleedy snare track. So there's a lot to like about the Nano Pulse and this is a tool which will improve your mixes, which in the end really is what matters. Get it by using the link in the description below where you also can find a link to a completely different transient shaping tool.